President Emerson Unangogwa claims that despite the fact that Zimbabweans continue to suffer from hyperinflation and other difficulties, the Second Republic has made significant progress over the past five years. Umningogwa said many of the nation's concerns were taken into account and his administration has taken action to resolve them while speaking to thousands of supporters passed in from the nation's 10 provinces for the ZANU-PF 2023 election manifesto launch on Saturday in Chapinga. This is despite the fact that many of the promises his government made for 2018 were not kept due to a variety of factors, including corruption, poor policies, and poor governance. To name a few of the promises that were broken, one was to guarantee continuous economic growth of at least 6% year from 2018 through 2023. Land security tenure agreements such as 99-year leases and A1 permits are issued. Although most farmers wait for the aforementioned leases, this has not been done. Unresolved is the issue of compensating former white farmers in accordance with national constitutional standards. While other laws have been revised or adapted to the Constitution, the Mines and Minerals Act Chapter 2105 has not yet been altered. The National Railways of Zimbabwe and RZ Rehabilitation and Modernization of the Nation's Aging Train Network are still in the works. The ruling party has nevertheless blamed the failings on sanctions, just like it did when the late former President Robert Mugabe was in office. We are resolving your complaints, which we learned about from your leaders. The Second Republic has kept a lot of its commitments. Fuel constraints and electrical shortages were both rectified. We are developing other power plants in addition to weighing units 7 and 8. And load shedding has ended as of right now, according to President Unangogwa. Yet, the country is still plagued by a high unemployment rate, frequent power outages, unfavorable exchange rates, and escalating inflation. The ZW dollar has decreased in value relative to the US dollar over the last few months, and on the black market, it is currently trading at about ZW dollar 10,000 to 1 dollar. Moreover, salaries for citizens have declined. To offset the sanctions imposed by the West, President Umningogwa urged people to manufacture domestically in his speech. Change your mindset and start manufacturing locally. Zimbabweans. We shouldn't rely on imports, and I am confident that our skilled and intelligent workforce is developing new ways to make goods here at home. Breaking sanctions by creating for ourselves is the Second Republic's top objective. The President stated that we are doing this through various programs, like Pambata. The commencement of the manifesto campaign, according to President Ningogwa, was done in honor of Nobeningi Sitho, who was recognized nearly 23 years after his passing. Zenu PF was responsible for the democracy and one man, one vote that we have today. We chose to start our campaign here in CD Sitho's honor because of this. For this reason, we chose to honor founding president Nobeningi Sitho, and we also honored Manikalen's great rebels, like Rike Tengwina and Herbert Chitipo. In the lead-up to the election slated for August 23, 2023, he urged peace and harmony. Because ZANU-PF is a peaceful party, we should all avoid violence as we prepare for the elections. I demand harmony, peace, and unification. Despite the diverse backgrounds from which we come, we must uphold peace, the president remarked.